I really can't believe it's our last year at Sultan High. Me too. We've made lots of memories. That's what I'm gonna miss. It all seemed like yesterday, but we just have to make the most of the time we have left. Don't you agree? Agreed. Well, that's the bell. I need hurry to the French teacher's office. She requested I see her after fourth period. Why? Elena, is everything all right? I hope so, but I think I'm failing French. You really need to not waste more time. See you later. Amanda, this fell out of your locker. What's that? I think it's a letter. <laughs> From a secret admirer, I hope. Hmm. A secret admirer? Or maybe from your crush. Who? Jake? No. Why not? Maybe he feels the same way. Um, maybe. But Jake is too outspoken to hide behind a letter. Well, you'll never know. But deep down, you sure want it to be him. Right. <laughs> Come on, we'll be late for drama class. To my candy, Amanda. Dear Candy, I'm sorry I'm approaching you this way. I don't know how you will feel or how you will react if I pour out my heart in front of you. I might fear nothing else, but I do fear women. From the first day I saw you, my heart literally stopped. I know this is a line you must have heard a thousand times, but I'll say them anyways. Whenever we bump into each other, I always wish I have enough courage to speak to you but I get stuck with this thought in my head. How can I compete with all of them? Would she ever give me a chance? The sight of you today was breathtaking, seeing you smile always is dreams come true for me. I love the way that your eyes sparkle whenever I look at them, the way your lips slide up a bit whenever you are about to say something funny, the way you take charge, and even the way you study in your private time. I know this is creepy, I'm sorry. In summary, I can't get you off my head. I'll find a better way to express my feelings to you face to face. Forgive my lack of confidence. With love. <laughs> Oh my. Could this really be Jake? This is one of the most romantic thing I've ever read. Maybe Bridget was right. Maybe I do hope it's from Jake. But we'll see. Mom, we're here. Oh, alright. Thanks for the ride, sir. You are welcome, Mom. Good evening, Mr. Bonnie. Good evening, Amanda. Mom, I'm home. How was school today? Exhausting, Mom. <laughs> Alright, go and shower. Food will be ready soon. Thanks, Mom. Is Dad back yet? Not yet, but he should be back soon. All right, mom. So, any word from Jake yet? No, not yet. Oh. Hello, class. Mr. Quinn is here. We'll talk about it later. I hope you are ready for today's literature class. And you all brought your copy of William Shakespeare's Tempest. Did you bring yours? Yes, I did. I've been looking forward to play Miranda. Who else will be best to play the role? <laughs> Today, we are going to select our cast for the play. 
we all know who volunteered to play the female lead, Miranda. Now, we need to select our male lead, Ferdinand. Samuel, will you do the class the honors of playing the male lead? Huh? Christ. What do you say, Samuel? Shit. That's a generous offer, sir, but I'll respectively decline. Is he for real? Who wouldn't want to play Ferdinand? Well, you can't force anyone to take on a role. Hmm. Alright, too bad. I guess I'll have to give the role to Mark. We'll see if Mark can perform on stage. Yeah, we'll see. Hi, Amanda. Can I speak with you for a minute? Sure, Jake. Take your time, my friend. So, Amanda, how has it been? Been fine, Jake. I've been meaning to ask you out for a while now. But I've been busy with the team. You have. Oh, beautiful Amanda. Some friends and I are hosting a party next tomorrow night. Will you like to be my date? Um... Alright then. She agreed, Chris. It was a very easy ask. Very good, Jake. Very good. <laughs> yeah, and the boys owe me 10k. I knew it was wrong betting with you. But don't worry, we'll settle you at the party. Good. It's weird how Jake just asked me out to a party. He didn't seem shy to me. And now I'm finding another letter in my locker. Is someone playing with me? Or is Jake playing with me? 